so when you open your, your browser and you search for yandex.money yandex.money it opens up this website right here and this is the former for your money dot you okay so if you need a virtual credit card it's very simple i made this i made this same video like a couple of months ago but it seems a lot of people were not getting it so i have to make it again so the index dot money is the same as the yo money dot ru so you can just go to your address bar and input yo money dot dot ru and this credit card we are going to be using will support paypal and other platforms so you don't need to worry so you just click on this sign up right here and it will open this site right here so right here you need to select your country code scroll down until you see your country flag by it and select it once you select it you need to input your mobile number right there and then you can see the next button next right to it just click on the next and you can see a uh, recapture down here which says i'm not a robot just select it and if your internet connection is fast it should be okay and a code will be sent to your phone so make sure you check the mobile number the mobile number you are using to register make sure it's working and check to see you can see a call you get a call on your phone i will show it on the screen how the call looks like so as you can see on the screen right now this is how the call looks like so the last four digits of the call you do the number that called you you input that one mine is six one six six yours might be different so don't worry so when you do that just create the call just cancel the call but note the last four digits of the number that called you and you can see right here it says we should create a password make sure you have uppercase and lowercase with special characters mixed with it before you'll be able to um, verify our account okay so once i do that you input your password once again and make sure this password because this is some bank things that we are doing so make sure it's legit and make sure you're able to um, verify and today this credit card right here because of the first video i made i didn't verify my account so a lot of people weren't able to um, use it to verify their paypal okay so today i'm going to show them how you can use it to verify your paypal and other stuff so when you click on the the human being icon right here that's your profile and you go to settings to open a new page okay right here put your real name and this is your id so just click on the security right here you can enable some security stuff right here and you can see a card to verify for online and offline systems you can order it right now for this amount it's in russian so you can go and and do the conversion rates and see how it works so i'll just go ahead to i'll just open right here and this is my card right here when i click on view this is my virtual credit card right here and i click on the view right here it should open up and it asks me to enter the four digits of the call so they will call you and the last four digits of the number that will call you you need to input it right here to confirm you really are the one with the last four numbers that will call you so, so if i open it up right here you can see my card number has been opened i will blur it out and i have my cv view right here when i click on it also i will get a call and then i have my expiry date right here the name on the card you can change it by clicking on this pencil icon and inputting and then let's say the name i want to name it and talk. so i just click on that and you can see the name of the card right here. so if you want to use it this is where a lot of people are confused if you want to use it to verify paypal and other online services please just go ahead to with this card you can purchase a few other things okay but if you want to use it to verify paypal and other stuff you need to click complete identification right here okay so when you click on identification it will bring you right here which card do you want do you want a card which is dollar or more so if you want dollar to be added you can get it right here if you want fundraising and other stuff right so we want all so i just click on i want this wallet right here okay so so this one for this of other countries so when i click on i want this wallet it will bring me to this website right here and it says 
click here and choose the country that you are from right here your nationality where this is where you are staying currently and your nationality. if it's not available just click on other other and we have this right this right here which is the post service so you need to get a copy of your passport you can scan it and put it in an envelope and deliver it to them directly okay to their mailing platform and these are the steps you can use okay these are the steps you can use and deliver to them once you deliver to them it, it, it should contain your account id and other stuff your account will be verified immediately they receive it and they verify that it's, it's really you that is using that account okay so you can convert this with uh you can convert all this with a google translate okay so let's go to your our chrome web store right here how do you go to the chrome web store let's search for chrome web store.google.com and search for translate So you can see Google Translate right here. You add it to your Chrome, okay? Add it as an extension. And when you add it to the extension, you should be able to convert all that was saying right there into English, okay? So that you don't need to um, worry about it. So when I I'm here on the site right here. So when I click on this extension button, I see Google Translate right here. So I just tap on this Google Translate, and it should do the magic, okay? I just tap on Translate this page. And to translate the page into English, okay. So, so you can see here they say translate, so it just translated to English. So now let's really say that application by mail, okay. Everybody can do it, okay. And the cost is free, you don't need to pay anything. And it will take seven business days after you deliver it. So it says what what documents to prepare, you fill it out, print it, and sign in, okay. So when you click on this, fill it out right here, open it in a new tab. This is this, this right here. So you need to click on this download button at the top right corner right here and you should download it okay after you download it um you can convert it to english also before you, you, you download it by using the google translate okay so we translate this page right here and you should translate everything into english so once you're able to do it you need to fill out this form right here fill out this form with your valid details and add a copy of your if you are in African countries, you can use your Ghana card, you can use your voter's ID or any other document, attach it to it and mail it through their mailing service. The address will be given right here. If you read this, I'll leave this this link in the description. So if you read it, they should show you how you can submit a sample of your computer. So this is a sample of the computer application. So when you click on it, you should open another page and you should see a sample of the application. Okay, this is a sample of the application. A person have inputted the Gmail account. The person have inputted everything containing the account, and the person submitted. So once you submit it within seven business days, you should be able to um, get it. Um, you also make uh, make a copy of your passport and submit it. So once you are done with that, so you, you see this uh, choose another identification method. Like right? if you know that your identity method is not, you can choose it using any of this right here if you are in Russia. So once you mail it to the address you can see the address right here you can see the address down here where is the address where is the address where is the address the address was down here where is the address that's where the address okay so this is the address okay you can send it to this address 